hello everyone hope you all are doing good welcome to my youtube channel and in today's video i will be showing you how to hide the consent form in power apps so in my agenda i will be giving you the overview of the current problem statement and after this i will be showing you the steps to bypass the consent form in power apps so when a user opens the power app especially the canvas app for the first time they see this message almost there and the app needs your permission so this is potentially confusing to the user because uh, they are not sure what they are approving. And in this video, I will show you how to disable the Power Apps permission pop-up and make it stop appearing for the users. So this can be done uh, by using the PowerShell. And uh, we need to open uh, the Windows PowerShell in run as administrator mode. And then we need to install few commands as a prerequisites. So first we need to install the package provider and here is the command for the same and then after installing the package provider then we need to install few modules that uh, like microsoft.powerapps.administration and the second module is microsoft.powerapps.powershell. So once you are done with the installation of modules and package provider then you need to install the set execution policy command and this uh, after the execution of this command uh, we need to uh, wait for a few moments. So remember that execute each line separately and reply with the yes to all and this might take few moments after this uh, you need to log in uh, to your power apps environment so for login into the power apps environment through powershell uh, this is the command add power apps account so you need to uh, execute this command and this will ask for the uh, username and password and remember that you need to have an admin rights for the uh, power apps environment so now uh, once you are uh, logged into uh, the power apps environment uh, through the powershell now it's time for final execution of the final command to hide the uh, consent form so before executing the final command it needs two parameters one is the environment name and second is the app id so let's see how we can get the environment name and app id so it's a simple a way uh, to get the environment name like we need to log into the power apps admin center dashboard and in the browser url uh, we will get the environment name like this i've mentioned in the screenshot so you need to copy this environment name in your notepad and this will be helpful in the final execution of the final command and uh, as i've told like in final command we would also need the app id so let's see how uh, we can get the app id so uh, here are the steps to get the app ID. We need to log into the microsoft.powerapps.com. Then we need to go to left navigation and click on, click on apps. After this, we need to select the app for which we need to hide the consent form. And then uh, I need to click on details. Once I click on details, this detail window will open, uh, which will have the complete detail of this power app. And at the end, you can see the uh, app ID. You can copy this app ID uh, in your notepad. Uh, so now you have app id and environment id with you so now it's time to execute the final command so this is the final command uh, to hide the consent form or you can say to bypass the consent form in power apps uh, we need to set admin power apps api to bypass the consent and, and as discussed you need to pass the environment name and app name so uh, here are here is the step to get the environment name and this is the step to get the app id so uh, you have already uh, pasted uh, the both environment name and app id in your notepad so uh, just pass those environment name and app name to the final command that is set admin power app api to bypass consent and once you are done uh, press enter and after this in case this command ran successfully uh, the status code would be 200 okay this means uh, this bypass policy has been applied to the pop-up and next time any new user open this uh, power app uh, will not be prompted with the this pop up this consent pop up so thank you uh, guys for watching this video and in case you like this video uh, do like share and subscribe